Time for a second special case, diffusion in stagnant component. So when do you get that? Well, you get that here, for example. Here is my small water bottle, and there is water here as liquid. And above that surface, there is water, vapor, and air. And the water here is slowly, slowly evaporating, passing out through this small opening here and spreading out into the surrounding. And the water as liquid takes up much, much less space than water as vapor. So if you let uh, one mole of water evaporate, that up takes up so little space so we can neglect the air that needs to move in and take that its place. So hence, we get a situation where if you look at the equation here, Na equals minus diffusivity times the concentration gradient plus Ca divided by C dot, or if you have gases, you can simply say the molar fraction of A times the Na plus Nb. What we get in this case is that the movement of air, Nb, is zero. There is no movement of air into to this bottle approximately none at least. So what happens then? Well, nb equals zero, so we take that away. And we're left with this equation, na equals minus diffusivity times the concentration gra gradient plus ya times na. And the general case is difficult here. If we have liquids, oh, difficult. Uh, but if we have an ideal gas, then we simply have this Ya is the molar fraction, and it behaves nicely. Uh, and we can rearrange this here uh, and say that, well, the concentration, we can translate that to a molar fraction. So instead, we have PV equals NRT, right, the ideal gas law. And so Ca must be the same thing as the partial pressure of A divided by the gas constant and the temperature in Kelvin always use SI units. So we get here Na equals minus diffusivity times the total pressure divided by RT and the gradient in molar fraction rather than the gradient in concentration plus YANA. And this is a separable, separable differential equation. So you move around, so you get Ya on the same side. So first we take Ya times Na, move that to the same side as Na. So you get Na times 1 minus 1, uh, 1 minus Ya equals minus divisivity times P divided by RT and dYa divided by dz. And then we move Ya to the other side and we get Na dz equals minus divisivity times P divided by RT dYa divided by 1 minus Ya. And that we can integrate on both sides. And then there is an inner derivative there that we need to take care of. There's a minus in front of the Ya. And if you do this properly, you get an equation like this. Na equals the diffusivity divided by RT times P divided by the difference in distance. Uh, times the natural logarithm of 1 minus one of the molar fractions divided by 1 minus the other molar fraction. So what does this mean? What does the concentration gradient look like? You have these three options. Pause here and try to figure out which is true. In this case, we do have convection. So we have convection and diffusion. Because remember the equation we had in the beginning, that Na equals diffusivity times the concentration gradient plus Ya times something. The Ya times something, which in this case becomes Ya times Na alone, that's the convective part. And the other part is the diffusive part. So we have both convection and diffusion. Now, if we have no convection, we said before that we get a straight concentration gradient, so something linear. What happens if you have convection? So if you have convection in this direction, what happens is that the convection will push the concentration gradient.
because you have to have this con concentration here, right? And you have to have that concentration here, because in this place, that's if you have this liquid surface here, and you have equilibrium between the liquid phase and the gas phase, then the molar fraction in the gas phase is the partial pressure uh, at equilibrium. So the vapor pressure for that substance. And in the surrounding atmosphere, well, you can figure out what the concentration is there, right? So these two places are fixed. And then it moves like that in the direction of the convection. And what is the direction of the convection? Well, you have a high concentration down here and a low concentration up there, and it pushes in that direction, and hence number three must be the correct solution. Oh yeah, and by the way, diffusion in stagnant component is also called Stefan diffusion.